Are you interested in learning something new today? Of course we are, Mr. Hopster. That's great. We learn about the moon today. Yay! Yay! Okay, on most clear days, you can see the moon in the evening. Well, did you know that the moon revolves around the earth just the way the earth revolves around the sun? Really? We didn't know that. Okay, planet earth has only one moon, but other planets have many moons. And all these moons revolve around the planet. Wow! I didn't know that there can be more than one moon for a planet. Oh yeah! Some planets have no moons at all, like Mercury and Venus. We know Earth has one moon, but Mars has two. What about the rest of the planets? Well, Jupiter has 79 and Saturn has 82. My goodness! That's a lot of moons! Yes, that's a lot! Uranus has 27 and Neptune has 14. But today, we're going to learn about Earth's moon. The moon is the largest object in the sky, isn't it? Yes, Mr. Shopster. The stars are smaller, but moon is big. Ha ha ha! It appears that way. But moon is much smaller than the stars. It appears bigger because it is closer to the Earth than the stars. Oh, I didn't know that. The moon takes 29 and a half days to complete one full revolution around the Earth. The moon has mountains, valleys, as well as plains. It has no living things, making it look like a desert. Do you gals know about the craters of the moon? Huh, no Mr. Hopster, we don't know that. Yes, the moon has many craters, which are holes created when space rocks hit the surface at a high speed. Can humans live on the moon? No, they cannot. There is no air to breathe on the moon. But in 1969, two American astronauts, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, landed on the moon. Really? Human beings landed on the moon? Yes, they did. A long time ago. They went on a space flight called Apollo 11. Yay, yay! We would like to go to the moon too. Mr. Hopster, can we go to the moon? I have a rocket. But I need to get it ready. We can go to the moon tomorrow. Why don't you leave now and come back tomorrow? Yay! Yay! We are going to the moon! I'm all excited. I can't believe that we'll be walking on the moon. Okay, gals. See you tomorrow. Mr. Hopster, did you get the rocket ready? Yes, I did. Great, we are all excited. Come on over, duckies. Take a seat. Okay, Mr. Hopster. Okay, are you all ready? Yes, we are. Before we reach the moon, we need to cross several layers of the atmosphere. When we go higher and higher, the air will become less dense and have less oxygen. So it's difficult to breathe. Okay, Mr. Hopster. The lowest layer of the atmosphere is the troposphere. And now we are in the troposphere. Yay! Troposphere! Now we are in the next layer of the atmosphere called stratosphere. Yay! Stratosphere! The next layer is called mesosphere. Now we are in mesosphere. Yay! Mesosphere! The next layer is called thermosphere. Yay! Thermosphere! I also wanted you to know about ionosphere. This region that starts in the middle of stratosphere and is up to parts of thermosphere. The region ionosphere is named so because it is ionized due to the solar radiation of the sun. Yay! Ionosphere! Now we are in the last outer layer of the atmosphere, namely exosphere. Yay! Exosphere! Okay, brace yourself. The next stop is the moon. Okay, everybody, we are on the moon. Yay! Yay! We are on the moon. B.
Be careful. There are some giant craters out here. Check the valleys and hills over there. The moon has poles too. A north pole and a south pole. Which can get very dark and cold when the sun's light doesn't reach them. We can't stay here long. You can pick a souvenir and we need to return soon. Okay everybody, get on the rocket. It'll get very hot on our way back to the Earth. We are back! What a great experience! Thank you, Mr. Lobster! You are very welcome! See you soon! Let's recall! Hi, this is Rhea. Welcome, everyone! We saw Mr. Hopster and the ducklings learn about the Earth's moon. Let's see if you can recall them. How does the moon's surface look? Is it perfectly flat? Or is it filled with mountains? Or does it have mountains, plains, and craters? Yes, the moon's surface has mountains, plains, and craters. Let's take a look. The moon has mountains, valleys, as well as plains. It has no living things, making it look like a desert. Do you gals know about the craters of the moon? Huh, no Mr. Hopster, we don't know that. Yes, the moon has many craters, which are holes created when space rocks hit the surface at a high speed. Let's see another one. Which one below is the name of a layer of the atmosphere? Take a look at the three boxes below. Can you tell me which one it is? Is it equosphere? Or is it exosphere? Or is it tropic sphere? Yes. Exosphere is the only one among the three which is a layer of the atmosphere. Let's take a look. Now we are the last outer layer of the atmosphere, namely exosphere. Yay! Exosphere! That's all folks. Have a nice day.